how do we find the limit of sine squared x over x as x approaches zero? Certainly, we can't just plug zero in because sine squared of zero is zero divided by zero. Well, that's undefined. But this is an easy limit. We just have to know that the limit of sine x over x as x approaches zero is equal to one. Link in the description to my lesson proving that. Since we know this, we'll be able to evaluate this limit with sine squared by just splitting it up using the limit product rule. Sine squared of x is just sine x times sine x. So just take a factor of sine x out of the fraction and we have this product. Then the limit of a product is the product of the limits, provided that the limits exist. So we rewrite this as the limit of sine x as x approaches zero multiplied by the limit of that other term, sine x over x, as x approaches zero. We know this limit, and we know this limit. We're done. The limit of sine x over x as x approaches zero, famously, is one, and the limit of sine x as x approaches zero, we can evaluate by just plugging zero in, which of course gives us zero. So zero times one is our answer, and so our answer is zero. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.